Hi guys, it's me, Jessa, the Hoodoo Honey, and yes, I am in what you think I am, a wheelchair. Why am I in a wheelchair? Um, <laughs> I took my daughter to Vegas. I fell down. I, I fell down in a water park on a children's speed bump. I was in flip-flops. I think it's made for barefoot children, but I hit it not paying attention in wet flip-flops and and I have an old hairline fracture on my foot that never quite healed up and I think I like re-triggered it plus on top of that as you guys know I have HS um, I'm in about stage three of HS I'm starting to get tunneling and branching and things like that and you know <clears throat> excuse me there are certain places where anybody that has HS knows this that it's whatever and then there's certain places that will leave you in bed and bedridden and I got sick of being bedridden um, you know as most of you know I do resell too uh, being bedridden isn't as bad um, just doing hoodoo <laughs> but when you have to like actually get up and still clean your house and things like that I actually got the idea I was sitting it might seem over the top but listen to me here Okay, now listen to me. Before you go, what the hell? Listen to me. I'm sitting in my desk chair, which has wheels. I had made it that far. Got seated in my desk chair. I was just checking some emails, making some notes, things like that. Oh, I've got a couple of people I got to schedule yet. I'm coming. Hang on. Let me finish my story. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm at my desk and I'm, I wheeled around and I was like taking a break and I started emptying the dishwasher from my desk chair and I'm like wait a minute so because my foot was out too plus I had HS on my thigh a flare up actually three HS flare ups on my thigh um, and that was from walking up down the strip in Las Vegas in heat after I'd already hurt my foot on top of it so you can imagine the mood I've been in but anyways so yeah, the heat is not helping any of this, by the way. Uh, but let me get to my story. You know how I space out sometimes. Okay, so to cut to the chase here, um, I'm scooting around in that desk chair, and I'm actually realizing, like, hey, I'm bedridden, but yet I'm in motion. Hmm. So because I, I went on my Facebook, and luckily a friend uh, borrowed this wheelchair for me. I have the option to purchase it for a very cheap price. But even if I didn't, um, I checked around at the thrift stores here, which I couldn't get to right then, but they were between $35 and $50 at most thrift stores. So if that is an option for you, if you have HS on your thighs, especially, like I don't, I, don't, I haven't had a, a bum one in a minute or a butt cheek one, I think you could actually kind of at least prop yourself up on a hot pad and at least be able to move around, you know what I mean, instead of being stationary on the hot pad. Um, you're helping a, a charity, you're, you're buying something from, you know, probably a local, mine were both local charities, they weren't big, well, no, I sorry, I take one with Salvation Army, not a huge fan of, because they are anti-gay and things, so, um, but the other was a, our local senior center, so the money goes directly to the seniors at the senior center, and that's actually where the cheap wheelchairs are, they're $35. So you're not taking away from anybody, especially if you do have like a thrift store that supports seniors in your community. They probably have an abundance of them, actually. Um, I'd check first to make sure. But for $35 to be able to roll around my apartment, even if I never go outside with it, like right now it's like 120 out there. I'm not going outside right now. Uh, this is for my apartment use only. But it lets me do my dishes, it lets me go get a snack, it lets me do my hoodoo more easier at uh, my altar. I even have a little thing rigged up back here where I can do my posh marking from. Um, all kinds of stuff. Like, I don't have to be bedridden with HS anymore. I am chair ridden with HS anymore, but it's a moving chair with a giant wheel for a carpet. And I can just kind of choo -choo -choo all around. Now, unfortunately, the chair is a little big to make it through, like, my bathroom or bedroom doors, but still, that's, 
I am healing so much faster because I'm not cheating to get up out of bedridden states to like, you know, go do my dishes or whatever. And I'm also not laying there with the stress and the guilt of not doing the dishes. I just get up in my chair and I go do the dishes. It's very simple. So if it comes to this and your family thinks you're over at the top or whatever, bring them to me. I'll talk to them. Um, it is very hard explaining the pain of HS to people, especially in heat and especially if it happens to be on your thighs and they rub together. And I don't care. You can have the most cottony of the cottons of the cotton, cotton, cotton shorts on underneath your dress or whatever. If the shit's rubbing, it's going to hurt. And the money I spend in Band-Aids a month for the really good Band-Aids costs more than this chair. Now, if I can heal quicker, use less Band-Aids by purchasing a chair that benefits charity. Well, this one didn't. This benefits a neighbor of my friends, but still, maybe they really need the money. Who knows? Um, I'm, I'm not taking from anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm giving. I'm helping others while helping myself. And that's always a win-win. So if your family or your loved one can't understand that, too freaking bad. <laughs> Take care of yourself first. And don't have no shame about it. Your needs come first. You can still look good in a chair. And heal twice as fast. And use less expensive band-aids. Because you're not cheating and re-injuring yourself all the time. To do simple chores. I can feed my cats. I can feed my kid. And do all kinds of things. Um, so that's my HS tip of the day. And also just a little heads up to the hoodoo world in case I, you know, you do see me in the chair or something. Um, like I said, these are healing pretty good, so I probably won't need it for maybe another month or so. But then again, it's me, so yeah, I'd be right back in it in two weeks. We don't know. Doesn't matter. I have it now. It's mine. It's for my own use. And if, you know, one of my friends was to hurt their foot or break their foot or something, hey, I've got something I can borrow out as long as I don't need it. That's also a helpful thing. So you can only go, you can't go wrong. You really can't. Not when it's true self-care. There's no way to go wrong. It's win-win for everybody. So just a tip, just something to think about. It may not work for everybody, um, especially depending on where you get your HS at I'm speaking mostly to the thigh people that get bedridden um, and unfortunately the bum people that get bedridden too because also hurts to walk when they're on their bum and like I said uh, this isn't gonna get you out of the house it's an old you know cheapy wheelchair and I'm not saying go out and buy really expensive I just took a picture of myself <laughs> really expensive ones or you know invest a lot of money or anything but if you can find a cheapy one and it, it, it benefits somebody by buying it from them and it's cheaper than the money you spend on band-aids and creams and stuff. It's not a bad decision. And as far as the bum people, <laughs> the booty people, the HS booty people, you could put your hot pad under here and you're not chained to the bed by your hot pad. Assuming you are, well, there's wires, there's a cord with that. Assuming you have some kind of cordless hot pad device, do they even make that? If not, somebody make that. I'm sure they do, but... If not, somebody make that. <laughs> but you could even sit with your microwave 